Over the years, La Sundry Hospital has had its share of challenges, but throughout them, the care team has always found a way to maintain a high level of patient care. Sundry is a hospital where patients and their families are first and foremost. And it didn't matter what day we came to work, there was always, always an informal leader that stepped up to the plate and said, we got this. When there was a possibility that the 15-bed long-term care wing would be closing, healthcare professionals and the community came together to find an alternative. There was a number of community rallies that was attended by a huge portion of the population. How we do health in this hospital affects the entire community. So we actually went up to the legislature uh, and presented the concerns um, to the Minister of Health in person and she replied come up with a plan for these beds. So they did. A new proposal was presented to government. And in the end, five long-term care beds were retained. Four were converted to restorative care beds and one to acute care. Thank you very much. That's quite a win-win for the community um, and for the patients. It's nice to be part of a forward-facing team, a solution-oriented team. Even though those stormy times are difficult, uh, when you come out of them, you're stronger, you work better together, you communicate better, you've learned something from that. Coming to work now is a pleasure. For a hospital job, I'd say it's probably a, my dream hospital job. And it's fun. It's a fun environment to walk into because you're amongst friends when you come to work. We all need each other, and for whatever reason, Sundry understands that better than any other facility I've ever worked in, which is why I still drive two and a half hours to come pick up shifts here. <laughs> The one consistent theme that I hear our new hires saying is that it's a different environment. When we walk in Sundry, it feels different. It feels good. The nurses can question the doctors and say, why are you doing that? Without fear of that hierarchy. Everyone trusts in each other's expertise. If I go to a physician and I say, hey, I think this patient has a fracture, you need to come look at this. They trust me. I've always said, this is my family away from family. We are a family here. They've been doing extra over and above training on their own time, at their own cost, to make this hospital the best it can be. We are so grateful to have, we have exceptional physicians. We have physicians that go above and beyond every shift that help each other out, that communicate, that work well with teaching and in the urban centers. We have really great nurses who, you know, believe in quality improvement and who are on, on other committees and do a lot of education. And then we have other support staff that are irreplaceable and always there. Your maintenance department, right to every aspect of it, everybody works well together, they communicate, and they all have a common goal, which is to provide quality health care. Heidi's mom, Joanne Overgaard, practiced as a registered nurse here for 35 years. She was one of those informal leaders who pushed the team forward during both good and bad times. Sadly, she is no longer with us. This place was her home. This was her family. I think she would say we did it together. And this team is amazing. On the lighter side, we wondered, what would the squirrels who frolic outside think about the care team that frolics inside? They would probably say we don't feed them enough. <laughs> the squirrels would say they love the healthcare team here because it's a beautiful area. The squirrels would comment on how much laughter there is. Even on our breaks, we're, we're a team that we joke with each other, we all know each other, we relax, we laugh. Squirrels live as a group. Squirrels live and work together very much as the team here. So I think the squirrels would recognize uh, the teamwork that we do. Congratulations to the Sundry Hospital and Care Team for winning a Rhapsody Healthcare Hero Award. Uh, it's nice that the team is recognised and it's the whole that's actually recognised rather than any particular one person. It's an honour. 
you know, to be recognized as one of the team's members in this hospital. I think it's excellent. Uh, first, I, I thank RPAP for recognizing that Sundry has something special here. This award is, is something that, um, that we really appreciate RPAP coming up with because it's a way in which the community can say thank you, but a province-wide organization like RPAP can say thank you. It gives such authority to that thank you. Over the years, we've often felt that we were kind of like the little sister hospital of the central zone, you know, we're just so tiny and, but though we may be small, we are fierce.